Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how to free up some more effect slots in FL Studio. It's one of the downsides of this software is that you can only add 10 effects. Realistically, this should just be able to scroll on forever, like some other softwares. Now you can just chain mixer tracks together, but it's not what I like to do. I know sometimes you need only two or three plugins on a track, but sometimes you're doing some sound design and you end up filling up most of the slots. All you have to do is left click on any of these arrows here, left click, patcherize all. It's going to let you know that the automation links are going to disappear, but I'll be able to fix that in a moment. Hit OK. And it's going to open it up in Patcher. Now this looks like a complete mess, so I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. Right click, Auto Arrange Modules. You don't know what it is, just very quick sort of overview. It's a plugin that lets you load and build chains of different plugins inside FL Studio. It's an incredibly powerful plugin. You can pretty much build plugins inside this module. But if I just close this here, You'll see that now on my vocal channel, it's replaced all of those plugins with just one patcher and the audio goes into patcher. It goes through all of these different plugins that I've got here and then out the other side to FL Studio. Importantly, all of the plugin states have been remembered. So if I open up the plugin, you'll see that like all the controls and parameters are in the same position, but it has removed all of our automation. So if you have a FL Studio stock plugin, this is very easy. Just open up the plugin interface. Of course, you can do that for any of them. Um, let's say we want to adjust the decay time on this reverb. You can either right click and press activate right there, or you can right click on the whole UI, open up the parameters and then search for the one you want. In this case, last tweaked the decay time. This is going to add a little red dot. I know this is a few steps, but it's just right click, activate, right click, create automation clip. And if I just close this down, let's open up the plugin interface, look at the decay time you can see that it just follows the automation clip just like any other uh, sort of plugin or parameter in FL Studio. Now, if you're not using a stock plugin, say you've got bandwidth by In The Mix and you want to adjust the width of the high band, what you can do is adjust the parameter. Unfortunately, you can't right click and activate, but you can just go back into here. Parameters, it's going to open up every parameter in the plugin. Just go to last tweaked, that high band. And again, it's going to give you that little red dot, right click, create automation clip. And just like with Fruity Reverb, if I push this up, you can see that the band is smoothly automating. So that should give you a little bit more uh, control over this patcher plugin, but I wanna leave you with a few more uh, sort of tips and tricks because this one I didn't know for years and it really, really annoyed me. You'll see some of them just have this jigsaw piece because I, they don't have a UI here. But if I open up TDR Nova, look, pretty nice looking plugin and I'd like to see it there just like all the stock plugins. So in order to add a little user interface uh, thumbnail there, just close this down. Let's open up our mixer again. Uh, I need to open up the plugin on a new uh, channel because I can't do this from inside Patcher as far as I'm aware. Whichever plugin doesn't have a thumbnail, just click on this here, make editor thumbnail. Now hopefully this updates back into Patcher right now. So it hasn't updated yet, but if I were to open this plugin and maybe select reload plugin, yeah, there we go. Of course, you can drag these around any way you want uh, to rearrange this. Something that Patcher is excellent for are the built-in presets. So if I go to presets, so within here, there's got to be at least a hundred uh, different plugins sort of built into here. So if I go to say Wise Labs or Ulean, they've got uh, you know, frequency glue mastering and there are little sort of plugins built into here. But for now, you know, the core of the video was how to free up a lot of effect slots. And right now that is the easiest way to do it in FL Studio. I wish there was a little slider at the side here. And if they add that in an update in three weeks time, I'll happily make this video, you know, obsolete, delete it and make a new one. That would be ideal. And just to sort of finish up the video, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported my new plugin bandwidth. The launch has ensured that I can actually go go forward and make more plugins. I'm working on some really cool stuff at the moment. I do have it on a new year sale for anyone that missed out on the launch and all the information is of course in the description, including the launch video, walkthroughs, sound demos, and most importantly, there's a 14 day free trial, of course, but I just want to say thank you so much for all of the emails, all of the support on the forum, you know, getting all of your sort of emails, messages, reviews, finding out how you're using it, what features you want added, hearing the results it's having on your songs is, it's so much better than I thought it would be. Like I knew that I was building something special and that it was going to be a really powerful stereo imager, but hearing everyone's feedback, a lot of people are saying, you know, 
as well as a stereo imager, if you adjust the strength a bit and you push up certain bands, it really works more like a sound reinforcer. Like you can add a bunch more presence and clarity to the high end, but without just boosting it with an EQ, or you can really like thicken up the mid range of a sound, but without making something muddy, which was really strange because obviously I sort of marketed it as a stereo widener, but people have just taken it and uh, they're using it in their productions in so many special ways. It's pretty clear to me from the poll on the community post that you're wanting to see more mixing tutorials, more FL Studio tutorials, maybe more live streams. And I think just developing my own products like this, making them really, really good and using those to support all of those free videos makes a lot of sense. Of course, you know, people have come to me and suggested that I make a paid course or something. It's just not what I want to do. Uh, to sort of pay the rent. This is a lot more fun and interesting to me and I'd, I'd rather just make all the information free and then make really, really cool products like this. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was really helpful. See you in the next one. Bye for now.